Greetings and greetings, my fellow nurse brothers and nurse sisters. Welcome to the Nursing Affiliated Channel. Today we're going to be talking about arterial lines. Yes, I said it. Arterial lines. Don't be scared. It's okay. I know everyone gets a little nervous talking about critical care arterial lines, but it's very, very important. And let me tell you why, okay? So picture this. Boom. Someone comes in to your unit, critical care, ICU, CVICU, medical ICU, surgical ICU. Someone comes in after a surgery and you have them on inotropic medications. They're titratable. You want to make sure, let's just say for example, they're on, I don't know, Osmolol, Nitro, Levo. Um, if they're on a pressure medication, you want to make sure you can check the real-time blood pressure. So it's very important. So they either will come with an arterial line or they'll do one at bedside. Now, when they do the bedside arterial line, the MD will be there doctor so go ahead and put one in get everything that's needed and they have two positions to put it they have the radial arterial site which is right here in your hand or the groin i'm not going to stand up and show you because i don't know what you guys want to see down here as a hispanic me getting up no no not the business right now okay man so let's talk about what's very important about the arterial line before they even insert it they do what's called the allen's test and i'm going to show you real quick an example of it they hold down on the ulnar and also the radio actually put pressure right here and you have the patient do a squeeze test so they hold down for about 10 15 seconds and you can see my hand currently turning white as you can see it's turning white and so they do this test to make sure there's good blood perfusion as you can see it's turning white ready I'm gonna let go and it just turned red you see how red everything just kind of went back to its normal color beautiful so that's one of the tests they usually take the MD will actually pick this site if they want to do it in the groin femoral artery or if they want to do it in the radio. Usually it's common side, it's a radio site. And the radio blood pressure, real time, what it is, is the pressure in the systemic um, arterial system. Very important. So when you're dealing with blood pressure medications, real time, you want to look at the blood pressure. So, and what we also call it is the mean arterial pressure, MAP. So it's not MAP like you're looking for some, but the mean arterial pressure for all my nursing students, basically what it is, remember this, write it down, take a picture. I don't care how you remember, but it's important, guys. Systolic times two times your diastolic, boom, divided by three. And that's going to be your real mean arterial pressure. So that's your hemodynamically patient number that you're looking at for the blood pressure. And it's beautiful. So if you don't know it, memorize it. You're going to need it for all my nursing students out there. So anyways, once that's in, it's very positional. And the arterial line is once it's like positioned from the doctor, um, you always have to put a handboard on there because you're, um, sometimes those can be very positional and they can move. And then the waveform on the screen will change. It'll give you a different reading and the mean arterial pressure will be completely off. So it's very important when you're dealing with these type of medications, like I said, Levo, Osmolol, or Nitro, or whatever type of medication that you're titrating and following the parameters, the doctor's orders, you want to keep that map, whatever the doctor tells you. They want it usually between 65 to 100. Um, and their type parameters will be super, super tight. So you have to follow that. So once the arterial line is placed, you make sure you put a handboard on there because if it's positioned and they move the hand, it's going to be the reading will be off on the screen showing the wrong type of real time of blood pressure, if that makes sense. So it's very important, guys to check as a nursing student and also as an individual working in the critical care for the five P's. I said it and I'll say it again, five P's. The first one you're gonna deal with is pulselessness. There's no pulse, you put a pulse ox in that finger, lets you know on the screen if there's a good saturation, 95 and above, very important. Second thing you're gonna look for is gonna be power. So if the light on the hand is very, very bright and turns super, super white, we have a perfusion problem, my fellow nurse brothers and nurse sisters. So you want to make sure that it's nice and pink and it's red and you have good pulses, okay? The third one you're going to be looking for is pain. If the patient is not sedated or intubated, uh, they'll let you know if there's pain because there's not good perfusion going on. The fourth P is paresthesia. I can never have perfect name. I can never say it properly. But anyways, that is tingling and numbness. So if there's not good perfusion, the patient will have a little tingling and numbness. The last P that I never ever forget is paralysis. The patient will not be able to move their hand. And that's just because, like I said, not good perfusion, not good blood flow, and the hand will not be pink and it will be white. So you gotta make sure that on this area it doesn't get kinked when they have the radio arterial line. So my fellow nurse brothers and nurse sisters, those are the five Ps. And also for mean arterial pressure, don't forget, you get the systolic 
times it by two, times it by the diastolic, divided by three, and that's gonna be your mean arterial pressure. Write that down. So the second most beautiful part about having an arterial line is the labs. You get to pull the blood back whenever you need it and get your arterial blood gases. You guys seen my video, if you guys haven't, scope it out. I'll put the link right here on the bottom, my ABG video for all my nursing students that need to pass and get on top of their game because in nursing school, once you pass that, you're definitely gonna be utilizing that in critical care and also in the medical field. So. My fellow nurse brothers, hopefully that helps uh, for everybody that's interested about arterial lines and how that works, uh, learning about the mean arterial pressure and arterial pressure, um, and learning about medications that you need to learn how to look at and look for. So my fellow nurse brothers, any questions, any comments, likes, all that good stuff, leave them on the bottom. Let me know what my next video should be. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. My fellow nurse brothers, appreciate you guys following. Love you guys. My familia, I'm out. Peace.